It's coming for us. Oh, oh. Wait. What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm, and we're back with some more scrap mechanic today. A reminder, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, welcome to the BattleBot Arena. We are going to make a BattleBot today. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it is a wireless remote control monster machine vehicle, basically, uh, that you can use to fight against each other. Um, there used to be a TV show about it. I don't know if it's still on. I don't think so. Um, but basically, people would make these remote control cars, and they were more like monster machines, but they were remote controlled, and they would battle out in an arena and basically, like, destroy each other. The machines would... Like, they were made of metal, and they would be just torn to shreds and stuff. Um, really fun. I That's kind of like the first thing I thought of when I saw this game. I'm like, man, this would be perfect to make some battle bots and stuff. And then uh, if you're not familiar with how to make uh, things remote control or wireless, uh, I'll show you that real quick as well. All right, before we get started, I want to show you guys, in case you haven't seen, how to do the remote control trick. Um, so I'm just going to set up, like, a pretend vehicle here or a pretend battle bot or whatever whatever it is you want to have remote control like a lot of people have done remote control car races um, so let's say you want to do something like that let's you know let's say we built a battle bot or a, a car or you know whatever it is you want to build and have be remote controlled um, so build your vehicle real quick what you need to do is put a bearing down then another block and then another bearing and then on this side is where you need to have like your control like your your car steering wheel this will be like this will be where you're doing the remote controlling from and then what you need to do is you know once we're ready we're going to delete the block in between those two bearings and for some reason i don't know if it's a game glitch or if they you know meant it to be that way but if you discontent just connect that you delete that block the game will treat it like it's still connected to your controller. So you'll be able to control the car without actually being connected to it. So you can kind of, you know, use it as a remote control. So it's super cool. Um, I'm going to throw down, like, you know, a little engine here. Let's just put, you know, let's put power to two wheels and point them that way. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So let's put the gas up a bit. Um, we are going to take this off the lift and then we're going to delete this little block here and it's remote control and I'm going backwards and forwards and if I wanted to steer it, I could steer it too. Um, so that's how you do the remote control part and that's what we're going to do with the battle bot. All right, so we're going to make a vehicle. I'm going to put the lift down. Um, I'm going to use metal on the bottom to make sure it kind of stays like weighted down on the lower the lower end of it um, and I want to hide some wheels in here so I'm gonna throw some bearings in here and let's just make a little three block indent um, so there's really no like correct way to make a battle bot I mean some of the ones that they had on the show you could tell like they were very well engineered but they still got destroyed and then you'd see some that you know, you're like, that thing's never going to win. And it just demolished all the other robots. Like, you just would, you know, it's it's just really hard to tell what's really going to um, be a successful battle bot. And uh, I've always had this idea of one I wanted to build that I just never, I never did, obviously, because, you you know, they did it in real life. And where am I going to get all these mechanical parts and stuff? Um, but... Basically, the one I always wanted to make, I even had a name for it too. It was called the Tongue Lasher. So it was this one that it 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 stayed really low to the ground. And what it did is it would kind of like it would run into the other robot or the other battle bot and it would scoop it up into like the mouth, right? So we're gonna have a mouth here. This is gonna be a monster robot. It's gonna have a mouth and it's gonna clamp down on the other robot. So it's gonna scoop it up. It's gonna run into here and get stuck in the mouth and then it's gonna get clamped down on. And then what it's gonna do, well, we don't really have a way to do it in this game, but I'm gonna have to kind of improvise 
is the reason I called it tongue lasher is because once you clamp down and trap the other robot in its mouth, it was going to take like this giant metal spike and just like stab it until it got destroyed. And that was my plan for like the battle bot I always wanted to build when I was a kid. And uh, obviously just never did it because I never built a battle bot. Anyway, um, so that is what I'm going to build and I'm going to try to do it. So let's see what we can do. Um, and this, this would really be a good thing to do with your friends uh, if you play multiplayer scrap mechanic here. Um, and you can take any of these arenas. These are all the, the things that are like pre-built in the game, these little rocket launcher pads. You know, just put some of those yellow uh, fence little barrier things around the edge and you've got yourself a battle bot arena. So it's really easy to make. And really, uh, I mean, the battle bot thing itself should be fairly easy to make too. It's not like completely, you know, we don't have to do anything too crazy. So what I need to do, I don't know if I can put, can I put a block on top of this without the wheels getting like blocked I need to I need to test this out I don't know I don't know if the wheels are gonna get blocked but if they are what I can do is uh, just delete these three blocks I think I'll do that anyway just to be safe all right, now we need to make some kind of clamping device so that when we get a vehicle trapped in here or another battle bot trapped in here, um, we'll be able to kind of clamp down on the vehicle and trap it so it can't like get out. Um, so even if the driver is trying to like reverse out of the of our battle bot's mouth, they won't be able to get out. Um, so let's go ahead and put a bar. Let's see, like two blocks high here. Um, let's actually go three blocks. Let's put, let's put some sidebars here and then let's have, uh, that's actually the width of the vehicle. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put a couple bearings here. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of guessing here. So this is not like a set plan. I know what I want the, the, the robot to do. I just don't. You know, um, we're figuring out how to build it right here as we speak. So, um, okay, so we have we have that on a bearing. So we're going to be able to rotate that. Um, let's go ahead and put another bar here. We'll be able to rotate that as well. And then for the final one, we want to have some kind of some clamps um let's see and i think i know why don't we put two layers deep here because i think what i want to do i've grabbed this little i went looking through the inventory to find some kind of like some toothed type of uh piece of machinery here uh what do we have here can we get it is that good or i think it's better that way and then we'll rotate this one to be like that. So those are kind of like teeth that are going to grab down and make it really hard for somebody to escape. Um, okay, so now what we need to do, I put a little bearing back here. This is where we're going to do the uh, the remote control that I showed you earlier. So we're just going to put a bearing, a block, and another bearing. And then back here is where we're just going to put our vehicle. And it doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be this big. Um, actually, I'm going to remove quite a bit of this, I think. Let's remove, we don't need, hardly need all that space. Um, okay, so let's put, let's put the steering thing here. And I know I'm going to need at least one button. Oops, let's, let's rotate that a little bit. <laughs> um, and then we're going to need, we're going to need a controller. And that's going to be for the claw. The claw. Um, then we'll worry about the motorized stuff here as well uh, in a second. So let's see here. Uh, we need to connect. Uh, we need to connect the button to the steering wheel so that when we sit in it, we see see the number one button here. Um, that is connected, and we also need to connect 
the button to the controller, and then the controller, we're gonna connect to all these. So I'm gonna do number one and two. These are all gonna, you know, clamp down together. So three and four, five and six, and that should be all we need for the claw. Let's just make sure everything is pointed in the same direction, all like closing down, clamping, okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to set the default position. Um, so we don't want it that wide open. Um, the, the number one and two, we can leave that way. Um, these let's rotate, say 30 degrees. See how that looks. Did I do it? Oh, we're connected. We're connected to the thing here. Okay. So that's rotated. Um, oh, you know what? This doesn't go out nearly far enough. I've got an idea though, don't worry. Let's rotate these 30 degrees also. Okay, so that claw needs to be way closer. So why don't we, why don't we remove this and this Okay, I've readjusted these things a little bit. So they're a little bit more curved. As you can see, it's more like a mouth because uh, we're going to make this into like a big dragon monster. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so these are, in case you wanted to know what numbers I use. So for one and two, which I had at zero before, I moved up to 30 degrees and then everything else is 15 degrees as the default rotation. Uh, position. It's all rotating that direction. So it gives it a nice curve and it does start, it is starting to look like a dragon or some kind of monster with teeth. Um, I'd like to put teeth coming up here, but that would prevent us from getting uh, some vehicle trapped in our mouth. Uh, okay. So now what we need to do is program what we want it to do when we push the button. We want the mouth to close. Um, so I'm going to take this bar I'm going to take these bars, these bars, and let's see, I guess this one and make them rotate a little bit once we close the mouth. So let's, let's add say 15 degrees to this, um, 15 degrees to this. And then the last ones we want, Let's do 30 degrees on, wait, let's do 30 degrees on seven and eight and see how that looks. Um, so we'll hop in here. Okay. All right. How does that look? Does it look like it's clamping? Let me, um, let me zoom out here real quick. So if we get something trapped in our mouth, it looks like actually that the teeth part, it's kind of rotating a little bit too, uh, too far. You know what? Our car is too long in the front. I think what I'm going to do is remove a few blocks of this. So, um, so the mouth is actually a little bit smaller. Okay. Let me do that real quick. And, um, and we'll be back. Uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move, I'm going to move these wheels back about three blocks and then I'll have to rebuild this little ramp three blocks back. All right. One other thing I wanted to change before we test that out again is, uh, I wanted to make the wheels steer like with a steering wheel rather than, um, with, uh, by powering either the right or the left side of the wheels. Um, that was my original plan, but I don't think it would steer very well that way. So let's see, that should work. Okay. So we'll have this steer and then this, the wheel will attach to. Okay. That should work fine. All right. So I'm going to have to rewire the steering wheel to these steering bearings on the top and then let's test that out. Oh, I got to remove the lift to test it out. 
Okay, I gotta reverse them, but they do steer fine. Okay, and actually, you know what would be kind of cool is to make this thing look like... Like, all barbaric, and put put some, like, wheel guards like this on the outside. That'll be super cool. Alright, let's put it, like, right there. Um, that way, we can remove... We, we don't need to remove it there, but um, that way we don't have to worry about something hitting the steering, uh, the wheels in the front. So this thing will be like a full-on barricade. It'll be pretty cool. Um, all right, so that is good. Now let's go ahead and we needed to rotate. We needed to change these. They were spinning the wrong direction. Um, but other than that, everything was fine. Um, so now what we need to do, let's test out the claw again. Okay, that's much better. So the claw, the teeth are like trapping a car at least on the ramp at a minimum and in that like mouth area of the car. Okay, now we need to, uh, we need to put an engine here uh, so we can power this thing. And we'll power all four wheels. those forward okay we will turn this to full power of course all right check that out okay so everything's cool um, now what we need to do is we need, actually need to make this into the tongue lasher if you remember what I said I wanted I wanted this thing to not only grab a battle bot and close its mouth around it um, but I wanted to call it Tongue Lasher because I wanted to have this big metal bar that would just destroy it. And, you know, just keep, like, stabbing the other battle bot until it breaks. Um, but we don't have really... We don't have a piston or anything like that in the game. If they add a piston, that would be perfect. Um, so what we can do instead... I think we can have something, like, hit it. So if we have, like, a couple blocks here... And a couple blocks here... And we'll put a little bar of blocks. Why is this not connecting? Oh, there we go. Let's do three blocks here and three blocks here. And let's... Oh, we're going to have to connect this, I think. Um, let's go ahead and put a button number two. This will be for the... Um, this will be for the tongue lasher part. Um, let's connect this to that and this to that. And now we're going to connect that and that. Okay. So default position is going to have to be rotated like negative probably 45. So we don't want it to block the vehicle from getting in. Okay, good. And then what we could do... I think we could put, maybe we should put some shoes and we'll just kick it. We'll just kick the crap out of it. What do you think? That looks pretty awesome. All right, the final thing we need to do is test this thing in action. So we need to create like an actual car or an actual opponent. So we're going to create, this won't be another battle bot, but what we're going to do is create like a little car basically. And we're going to... Um, we're going to try to pick it up with our tongue lasher battle bot and then hopefully this will let me place. All right. So we're going to try to pick it up and then we're going to trap it and tongue lash it and all that stuff. All right. So let's get in our controller here. Let's trap the car and then, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to push number one. All right. Let's do that again. So this, this actually is very much like the real BattleBots game. This is what it looked like. These things were like running around like nuts. Um, I'm having a real tough time remembering which way to turn this thing. Um, wrong direction. Okay. So let's go. Wait, don't trap me. No, other way. Other way. Wait. All right. All right. I forgot how to use a remote control car. Uh-oh, it's coming for us. It's coming for us. Oh, oh. Wait, go over there and pick up that 
That robot. You're going the wrong way. Oh, I can't control this thing. Other way. Other way. There we go. There we go. Okay, back up. Now, go to the right. Back up that way. Wait, that way. All right, let's get back in here. Let's try this one more time. Oh man, I can't believe, can't believe that happened. I think I should turn the motor down a little bit. Let's um, let's turn the gas engine a little bit. It's way too hard to control. Okay, that should work a little bit better. Um, let's see, turn to the right. Now get him. Now clamp on him. Okay, we clamped him. Now we need to kick him. Ah, wait, let's see, clamp him further, clamp him, there we go, all right, now let's go in reverse, and let's kick him, <laughs> oh, our feet aren't long enough, Oh man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try some renovations on this thing, all right, is it gonna work, ah, oh, anyway, you get the picture, but we have, we have the other battle bot clamped in our, in our mouth, and there's no way he can escape, and now we can just ram him into the wall. There we go. He's dead. We got him.